Hey everybody, what is up? This is Bacon Burger King, and I'd like to welcome you to part 5 of my Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer. Not Randomizer. <laughs> my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. <laughs> uh, there's a reason I said Nuz uh, Randomizer. I guess I might as well go over that. But not yet. Uh, in the last part, we uh, progressed through Route 3 and got our encounters for both Route 3, Mount Moon, and we got our gift Pokemon in the Pokemon Center. And in this part, we are going to make our way through Mount Moon. Now, in the last part, I said I was going to go stock up on um, some repels. Uh, repels are going. Uh, basic level repels will uh, keep Pokemon away for 100 steps. So effectively, since I bought five of them, we're protected for about 500 steps. Uh, I don't think that's going to be all of Mount Moon, but uh, it'll be a decent enough portion of it. I also got a uh, awakening, and I bought one more potion. And because ADHD, apparently, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. All right, so we're gonna battle this lass over here. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. And uh, Mount Moon is our first real big dungeon. I mean. Uh, Viridian Forest was effectively our first dungeon, but this is our first big one. Ooh, Clefairy. Uh, does it have what I think it has? Because if so, it needs to die right away. Ooh, Sing. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't uh, put me to sleep. Damn it. Uh, well, good thing I bought the Awakening. I'm assuming it has Sing, Pound, Encore, and Metronome. At least that's what I'm... I really don't know Clefairies at all, so that's just me taking a guess. But uh, that's what I think it's going to have. Uh, Encore, yep, it has Encore. Beatrice got Encore. Uh, that works for us, though, because we were going to use Quick Attack regardless. Sing, damn it. Sing really worries me. Because uh, it'll put us to sleep. Damn. Uh, we're fast asleep, really. Uh... Growl. Okay, it's gonna lower attack. What's what's your uh, other move? What's your attacking move? Please tell me it's not metronome. Anything but. Okay, double slap. That is much better than metronome. Oh wait. All right, three times. Um. Oh, if it hits three times again, it's gonna kill Beatrice. Uh, who's closer to leveling? Actually, I'm not really gonna use. Hmm. I was going to say I'm not going to be able to use Violet very much against the uh, the natural inhabitants of the area, but since we have Repels, uh, we're not going to be fighting them very much anyways. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I think I'm going to send out Tyson. Uh, just because Tyson is going to be super effective against it anyways. Right. But he takes so much damage from that. Oh, I'm really hoping that the Karate Chop is going to kill him in one shot. Okay, we're good. Super effective. The Clefairy goes down. Beatrice grows a level. Uh, Tyson... Uh, Tyson's growing rather slowly, actually. He doesn't level quite that fast. So, uh, while I backtrack out of Mount Moon right now, I might as well... I mean, I did the pretty much the same thing in my uh, Mega Man playthrough, which, um... The time of this... The time of this going up, I believe the finale comes out tomorrow. So I hope you guys are excited for that. And if uh, if my uh, calculations are incorrect, then I hope you enjoyed that with a D. Or maybe you're watching it in a different browser at the same time as this. In that case, I hope you're enjoying that. Um, so, uh, one thing I did in the Mega Man Let's Play was explain my history with that game. Oh, I forgot to put on the repels. The history of that game in this channel. Uh, for those of you who, who didn't watch that, uh, before I put out my first like real, like real Let's Play on this channel, uh, Mario Galaxy, I had tried to do I had tried to do um, this game in the past, and I had done a randomizer nuzlocke of it, and uh, it didn't last very many episodes because uh, it was crap, and uh, I just lost interest. But uh. I don't know, I'm really enjoying this so far. Mostly because nobody's died yet, thank god. Ooh, Magnemite. Ooh, normal is not gonna really be doing it against it. Supersonic, electronic? No thank you. 
Shout out to anyone who gets that reference. You're my favorite if you do. Um, I don't think it's going to have any electric type attacks. But uh, I don't know. I'm feeling Tyson. I really hope it doesn't have Sonic Boom though. Because early on, Sonic Boom is super deadly. Uh, it always does 20 damage. Uh, later in the game, when you've got like 200 HP, that's nothing. But this early in, that is quite deadly. Thankfully, uh, the Magnemite goes down fairly easily because Tyson is going to kick your ass. Right, Voltorb, you can't blow up on me yet. Uh, for those of you who Nuzlocke, uh, you're cool. I appreciate you uh, doing something that I enjoy really a lot. That sentence made no sense, but anyways, uh, Voltorb, Electrode, Coughing, and Wheezing. Mostly the... Uh, Evolved forms of both Voltorb and Coughing. Uh, Weezing and Electrode are prone to exploding. And um, in one fell, s it, one fell explosion could potentially take out one of your favorite Pokemon. Yeah, the Exploders are the bane of most people's Nuzlocking existence. Uh, honorable mentions would go to Wobbuffet because of Destiny Bond. And, um, some others. <laughs> Just leave it at that. Um, yeah, I guess I'll leave Beatrice out front. And, in the last episode, I said we were going to find a rare candy. Here it is. A rare candy will boost any Pokemon's level by one. Unless, of course, it's level 100, then you can't increase it any further. But... Got a fight against the bug catcher Robbie here. Hey, look, we found Robbie. And our rival's name is Alvin. I guess this is MLB Power Pros Nuzlocke. Hey. That game is so underrated. Ugh. It pains me. But we're not talking about that game. I already did a Nuzl uh, Nuzlocke. I already did a Let's Play of that game. And the second playthrough. At least the, the time of recording this is still in the works. Ugh, bug catchers are so boring to battle. You just quick attack them like three times and they're dead. I want to fight something more challenging. I want to fight something more intriguing. Or we just get a crit. That's cool too. Yeah, I'm feeling like um, Beatrice, Violet, and Mackie Tyson. Uh, the four of them are uh, definitely my my core four group. Uh, the the uh, four of them aren't going anywhere anytime soon unless they die, which I'm really hoping isn't going to happen. I mean, I've been playing fairly well uh, up to this point. I've had a couple close calls, but really nothing too bad. Which is surprising considering... Um, Usually in my uh, Nuzlocke's of this generation, because I've uh, I've done two Fire Red Nuzlocke's and I'm in the middle of a uh, Red Nuzlocke right now, like on my own time. Uh, usually in them, I end up losing a Pokemon or two in like the first route just because of unluckiness or just me being an idiot. But uh, I'm very happy that uh, Beatrice has grown to level 13 because um, she now has access to Hyper Fang. Which is a damn great move, if you ask me. 80 power. And it may cause the opponent to flinch, too. A level 13 Rattata has the power to overthrow a god right now. Hyper Fang is deadly. Not even just early in the game. It's pretty valuable later on, too. So, Beatrice having that at such a low level is pretty much ensured annihilation whenever she's out on the field. Uh, for now, I think I'm going to keep Violet in front. But Sorry about that cut there. Uh, but what I was saying is, yeah, pretty much um, Violet, or not Violet, uh, Beatrice is a force to be reckoned with, uh, even more so than before. Uh, I've got that rare candy sitting there. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, like, anytime soon. Oh, speaking of using things, um... 
I was going to save the uh, Rock Tomb TM in here for my uh, for a Geo Dude if I was able to catch one, but uh, since that didn't happen, uh, I'm going to give Rock Tomb to Tyson. Uh, what are we gonna get rid of? Uh, not Karate Chop, Scratch, no Low Kick. Uh, Leer, just because I rarely ever use the uh, the uh, stat lowering moves. Machine set. Tyson learned a rock tomb. Uh, nobody can learn. Well, oh, we we can learn it, but uh, we're not using we we. Uh, yeah, Violet out front. Mm, actually, uh, Tyson should go out front. And look who it is. We, Team Rocket, or Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. Oh yeah, well show me that strength. I don't believe you. Team Rocket grunt will like the battle. Team Rocket is the main villainary... Villainary? Is that even a word? Well, screw it, it is now. Uh, they're the main villainary team of the game. And, um... Level 11 Sandshrew versus Tassin. Uh, is not really a enticing... Ah... That was barely even a pun. Barely even a pun, but I love it. Actually, I want to do a little bit of move organization right now. I don't know, it's just something I like to do. Uh, karate chop. Oh, we missed. Mm. It just keeps the fence curling. Come on, dude, do something. Alright, let's see. Karate chop, please hit. Thank you. Fence curl. Okay, come on, karate chop. Do something. Oh, the sand attack, it's real. The sand attacks are so real. Uh, he's really not doing anything to us other than defense curling and sand attack, making me question if he even has an attacking move to begin with. Besides sand attack, because it has the word attack in its name, it doesn't do damage though. There we go. Uh, just because our accuracy is lowered so much, I think I'm gonna switch Tyson out. Rats had a. Um, what's Violet looking like? I haven't used you in a while, at least not in this episode. So uh, come on out, Violet. And he doesn't have Hyper Fang, so uh, I'm not super worried about this. Uh, the quick attack, though, is, uh, doing pretty good. In two hits, it took how much damage? 16? Oh, but the crit! The crit! Mmm. Faster. Perfect. Uh, what's your last Pokemon? Zubat. Uh, I'm pretty sure all Zubat can know at this point is Astonish and Leech Life. Uh, Astonish isn't gonna do anything to us because we're flying normal. Or normal flying. And, um, Leech Life, we're flying. <laughs> so, um, I feel pretty safe with keeping Violet out right now. There's the Leech Life as I expected. Only one damage. Uh, let's see. Can we take you out in two turns? Oh, wait, it is Poison Sting. Oh, no, it has Super Sonic. Does it have Poison Sting? I don't know. I'm not super well versed in Zubat. Even though I have used Crobat in the past, and they're amazing, but uh, too bad we can't have one. Just in general, not just because we didn't catch a Zubat, but because they really don't really exist in this game. At least in the main quest. Uh, we can go up here, though, and we can get ourselves an item. One star piece. Those do nothing. You sell them at the mart, and it gives you, like, 5,000 uh, Poke Dollars. So they're literally meant for selling, which is uh, kind of nice. Um, who's closer to leveling right now? Uh, oh yeah, um, Tyson's m leagues ahead of, uh, Beatrice as far as levels go. Repel's effect wore off. I'm not gonna use another repel just yet. Uh, the Geodude I wanted before appears on us. Uh, just put your hand in its face. Yeah, that... It really didn't stand even any chance at all. 
And that was enough to grant the level. I, I'm actually uh, surprised about that. So, I just want to run over here and grab this escape rope, which will uh, get us out of any cave. Uh, all we have to do is use it. Unfortunately, though, for some reason, after you use your rope, it just goes away. I mean, there's no reason why it would break or anything, but it's just gone. So, uh, I'm just going to continue to back my way out. Because I want to uh, want to heal up a little bit before I continue on. Mm. I want to continue on. Uh, once I get back in the cave, though, I'll start using the repels again. Because uh, I'm going to finally start progressing. That little area I went to just now really uh, isn't required. You don't have to go in there by any means. I just want to go in there because of the item and the trainer. Alright. As everybody knows, for some reason... The Zubat levels are off the charts in caves, so you'll be running into them quite a bit unless you've, you've uh, stocked up on repels. Uh, again, I really don't think that I have enough repels to get me through the entire cave, but um, they'll do a decent job for the majority of it, I think. Alright, heal me up. Alright, let's get back in that cave. Moon. Oh crap, I forgot to put on a repel. Uh, Tyson, you're at the same level as Mikey, so, um... Uh, I don't think I really should be using you all that much, because I don't want... I want everyone to be pretty much at the same level, so I'll keep Violet out front. Alright. Now I'm going to need to apply another repel. Uh, I'm gonna continue to to hold on to that rare candy until I feel like it's necessary. Uh, we really don't need to use it yet. Uh, this last right here will battle us. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought! And the last Miriam would like to battle. And she's got an Oddish, which is a Pokemon that I love. Well, not Oddish, but it's a, uh, it's fully evolved form. It's, um... Is uh, something that I'm really hoping we can uh, encounter at some point as a catch. Uh, there are two opportunities for us to do that pretty soon down the line. I'm really, really uh, banking on getting that opportunity. Because uh, if I can do that, then uh, the second gym will be an absolute joke. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be an absolute joke. Because uh, the second gym can still be kind of challenging in a luck. Violet learned Quick Attack about damn time. Uh, Bellsprout. That is the leaf green equivalent of Oddish. In my opinion, I prefer Oddish uh, leagues over uh, Bellsprout, but it's not horrible. If you need a grass type, you could uh, count on one. The Gust. Super effective. Get your ass whooped. Ooh, and level 14. Two levels in one battle. Oh, I lost it. How do you get out of here? It's so big, I may get lost. Um, let's put... Beatrice in front. Uh, let's continue to use the repel to our advantage. Uh, I was... I want to go in that ladder, but I might as well f uh, fight off this youngster real quick. Youngster Josh would like to battle. Uh, he's gonna send out a Rattata on us. Uh, let's test out our Hyper Fang, shall we? Alright, quick attack. Ooh! Oof! Ooh! Okay. Hyper Fang! Was there ever any doubt that that would one hit KO him? I think not! Hmm, but the crit. Hmm. I'm feeling good about it. Of course, Hyper Fang's gonna annihilate him. Oh, you got anything else? Oh, Zubat. Alright. I've got no worries that we can take the Zubat. Oof, and the crit. 
unnecessary punishment, Beatrice. Calm down. I guess she just really hates bats. Losing stinks. It's so uncool. Came all the way through here to show off the girls. Two two rats and a and a bat really aren't gonna impress anyone. Uh, speaking of a rat, we've got to heal up ours. But we've got a good rat. There's a difference. All right, let's uh, take this ladder finally. Uh, let's see what wonders await for us down here. Oh, uh, we can get this. TM. 46 contains thief. I never use that. Uh, we're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Well, I'm pulling a team of six Pokemon. What do you got? Two. Zubat. <laughs> Beatrice. Show him the Hyperfang. Bye. Next. Ekans. Even with the Intimidate. Show him the Hyperfang. Or or you could just miss. That works too. Oh no. He's he's spitting hot fire at us. Hyperfang. Oh wow. The Intimidate actually uh kind of saved him. Damn, this Ekans is uh kind of being an asshole. Bite him. Critical hit. Beezers with the punishment. Get your ass whoop. <laughs> Get your ass whoop. That ain't Falco. Oh, that is not Falco. I'll tell you that much. Alright. Everyone's at level 14. Beatrice, uh, you need to take a break. Uh, Tyson. Is there something in this rock? I seem to remember. Ooh, either! Not not great either, but just pizza. Earth Pulse effect wore off. Let's see how far we can get without running into another Pokemon. Uh, Geodude. Tyson. I don't even feel like killing that thing today. Uh, we've got a hiker over here who uh, specializes in rock types. So, and sometimes fighting types, but, um, we're gonna kick his ass. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Just a kid. I'm a goober goober. All right. Had to tie in a SpongeBob reference somehow. Um... Karate Chop. Yeah, let's go for it. Super effective. Hiker Marcus sent out Geodude. I send out my Karate Chop to your face. I like to believe that when we just Oko something, it like splits them in half. Like, if I Karate Chop something and it kills them in one shot, that they're just entirely ripped in half. And now, Mark Tyson's gonna sweep the leg. Boosh! Super effective. Get cho ass whooped. Get away from my face. Tyson level 15. Oof. Mm. Powerful. Wow, shocked again. Kids like you shouldn't be wandering around in the dark. It's not dark, though. We can see. Uh, hmm. Ah, uh, Tyson's level 15, so sh uh, Mikey should be too. Alright, uh, sorry if you heard all that microphone adjustment there. I, I don't know how that came out. Um, anyways, let's grab this item. Moonstone, alright, that's pretty useful. Uh, if we have a Pokemon, uh, certain types of Pokemon can evolve from uh, using a Moonstone on them. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure if we'll ever really be able to get any of them. Uh, there are a few other opportunities we can have at getting uh, one t uh, either of the two that I'd like to have. 
and you use the Moonstone on, those would be uh, both of the Nidoran types. Nidoran male and female. But uh, I'm not going to hold my breath because I don't think I'm going to get them. Uh, revive. Uh, since this is a Nuzlocke and something fades, it's dead. Uh, that's effect uh, Effectively, we can just sell that for money. Uh, Zubat, you mean nothing to me. Uh, oh wait, what am I doing? I should have put the repel back on. Oh wow, this recording's been going for a little while. Uh, you know what? As much as I hate to end it in the middle of Mount Moon, this has been going for like 25 or so minutes. So, in this episode, uh, we made it mostly through Mount Moon, and uh, we trained up our pokes a little bit more. In the next episode, we are going to be making our way out of Mount Moon, hopefully without any more losses. And, um... We'll see what awaits on the other side of this cave. Until then, this has been Bacon Burger King with the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.